Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Hello. hello. You you can you can hear me, yes? I can indeed. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. For I heard your voice and I was like, wait a minute, am I talking with David Tennant? What's going on? <laughs> I'm just trying to start the camera, but it no won't problem. Let me turn it on. <laughs> Video settings, come on. Come on. Butt. I'm liking the uh, TARDIS collection behind you there. Oh, that is that is a uh, a very small sample. <laughs> if you want, I will. Um, that's not the entirety of my collection, but um, I've also got so the one in the middle is the uh the pop Funko uh TARDIS, which I actually got from a friend. She works in a uh, consignment shop. Right. And someone, I kid you not, brought in like a whole bunch of Doctor Who stuff. They brought in an 11th Doctor Sonic, which they <laughs> should have kept because you can't get those for, for anything anymore. My friend yeah. kept that, which good on her. Um, she brought in a fourth Doctor Funko, a Dalek Funko, a K-9 Funko. Nice. Uh, and I got the whole collection. The poor fourth doctor, he's got a little bit of marking on his face, but it's still, it's a fourth, it's a fourth doctor Funko. And it's worth and, and every I, penny. It, it's, it is worth everything. The two middle ones are uh, salt and pepper shakers. One of them is a bank. The other one is a tea kettle. And what you can't see in the back next to um, the Cuisinart is a cookie jar and a, um, a tea it's supposed to be another cookie jar but i i put a tea, i made it a tea holder so i just put all my tea in it <laughs> no that's excellent you gotta have a good tardis collection oh absolutely and that's like that is not i know you're recording uh please forgive me as i move this because i know some people can get motion sickness so i'm gonna move very very carefully that's not that that's my tardis collection this is my doctor who collection um yes <laughs> oh it's keeping on let's keep going still going still going oh and there's the jedi there's the jedi that was done by i'm gonna look up their name but it was worth every penny <laughs> the thing is i got the um the cloak the tabard i think i think it's what's over the shoulders mm. and then the belt that collectively was 200 bucks wow but let me tell you it was she is a professional costume maker out of hollywood oh, and nice. it was worth it was worth every penny and she's done everything she's done marvel jedis dc jedis i think she did a game of thrones character jedi so she's done everything high it's 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 worth every penny and then um in my room here is uh a lot of the the toys that i got commissioned uh the doll collection oh, oh there you are whoa ah. okay whoa hi <laughs> hi right. let me uh let I me have this whole the... gag set up right and this yes. whole gag i was oh! gonna join like that <laughs> <laughs> and, then oh. the, and then the whole thing oh technical issues that's the worst that is the worst <laughs> oh dear i'm just trying to get to zoom to work nicely with my recording software no problem Good no problem to... i love your collection in the back oh yeah oh trust me it, it spans the flat i, I if oh, i could nice. take up the webcam i would but yeah, I've got oh. plenty. I've got a nice couple of shelves there. Oh, I love it. I think I, sorry, my, for whatever reason, my smoke detector is going off. I think I need oh, to change the battery. So, so yeah, if you hear a beeping throughout, it is literally, I, I don't know. I guess I have to change the battery in the smoke detector or whatever, or hopefully like it'll. Hopefully it's not like just smoke that you haven't found yet. No, no, because my flat is very small in and of itself. So if there is smoke, it's coming from somewhere else. I actually 
where I am yesterday, we had a tornado warning and I had to go into the basement. Oh. And I was, uh, I, I met someone else who had just come in to pet sit for her kids, two dogs. And one of the dogs just leapt into my lap and I was like holding this dog for, of course, everything was fine. Yeah. But it was, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to get stuck in a tornado uh, warning and you're downstairs, nothing better than meeting a dog. Yeah, works a treat. I mean, as long as you've got like a little companion. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and, everyone, and I put the video up on TikTok and everyone's like, it's the new K9, it's the new K9. <laughs> um, which by the I I want, because she did mention in one of her two um, quarantine videos that she's got a um, 13 still has the blueprint for K9. Oh. So I would love to get a um I would love to get a K9 13 episode because oh, I love K9 I every you know for me I can't pick a favorite companion it's very much like pick your favorite child <laughs> no not going to do it um but I think if you if if someone was like on pain of death you have to pick your favorite companion I would just go with K9 I know, yeah. I know that I know that everyone, a lot of people just cringed, but it, and we're not talking about. I know about the very short-lived show that they did in New Zealand. We, oh, we pretend that God bless people, that show. <laughs> I I know about that. We're talking about Doctor Who, Sarah Jane Adventures, K Nine. Um, Sarah Jane, absolutely one of my favorites. Um, she's actually in my favorite episode, which is School Reunion. Oh, it's a good one. Uh, Love Bill, Bill Potts. Martha Jones needs more love, people. Oh, she does. She does. Martha Jones is the doctor who saved the doctor. Oh, for sure. She she got so badly treated by Ten as well in her tenure. It was ridiculous. <laughs> have you read Have you read any of the Thirteenth Doctor comics? Not. No, it's on my reading list. Go. Hang go, on. Go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> okay. First of all. First of all, let's get this out of the way, people. <laughs> if you are a fan of 13 or phenomenal Doctor Who writing in general, meet your new best friends. Oh, those covers are good. These are phenomenal <laughs> stories. This is like, someone get this in the hands of Jody, like right now. <laughs> There is, there is, where is it, where is it, where is it? Okay, so, latest one that just came out is the 1013 crossover. Ooh. And there is, um, so, they end up in uh, London, which I do love this. She's got a wallet, um, and if you look very, very carefully, you can see 10, uh, 11, uh, 10, 12, I think they're, I think eight, I think that's eight. Shout out to one of my favorite doctors. Got that right. Um, and you got, uh, no, 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 that's 11. Yeah, no, we got 12. We got, well, I should say my favorite doctors of all time, eight, 11, and 13. I call them team tea time because they all <laughs> love tea and they're all very, uh, happy cinnamon rolls. Oh, for so sure. guess who shows up? Yes, Martha. This this actually takes place when um, ten and uh, ten and Martha are stuck on Earth during Blink. Oh, so this is this is interwoven with Blink. Um, but there's one moment where she's she's talking with Martha, and I love the fact that out of everything in this clothing shop, she just wants a pair of socks. Naturally, that's that's her. And she says, and I will read it, and I'll do it in 13. Um, um, so she says, uh, me, hang on, how did, how did she know my last name? And she goes, don't know how I missed it back in the day. All over her face, even when I wasn't there. I'm sorry, Martha Jones. I'm so sorry. I was really thick back then. <laughs> and she goes through the whole thing just realizing Brilliant. how much Martha cares but seriously um a little help from my friends that's the 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 best the late the the three ones are did I pull, oh I didn't pull the first one but if you are gonna get one 
hidden human histories. It's my favorite. It's actually interwoven between two others. Um, the third of which is old friends, which the Corsair shows up in. Ooh. And um, where are you? Where are you? Which I only know about through the comics. I'm ah. I'm a I am a new Whovian fan, but I have a lot of respect for the old, and I have listened to some Big Finish. Love it. Mm. There she is. Yes, I saw it. I was googling the Corsair because I didn't really know much about, it, and that came up, and I was like, "Oh, that's that's not what I was expecting at all." This but is I my favorite it. shot. This is my favorite shot of the two of them. The deeply uncomfortable face there. <laughs> the, yeah, the the the, incre- the hug. Um, they really they have a moment, and it's um. It's so cute. I love this series with all my heart. Um, but it's it, it's a companion to a third. Like there's three in a row, which for the life of me, I don't know why I didn't pull the first one. <laughs> but I love them. I think they are absolutely phenomenal stories. The artwork is incredible, um, and it's just it's it's the way I would love to see thirteen represented and all right there's a lot of um i i think she gets a lot she gets a lot of flack for her way for the way her episodes are written and i'm gonna go on record and saying i don't think like every you know so many people give season 11 and season 12 flack there are phenomenal episodes Mm -hmm. the demons of punjab i love it Mm -hmm. uh kerblam and the 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 last scene in it takes you away where she's talking to the um the soul attract oh the frog yeah (laughs) i i that that it it breaks my heart every time because she says the way she says i wish i could stay she means it she wants to you know i wish there had been an episode where she had to stay with the soul attract Ooh, that would have been and fun. they build up this french imagine had uh imagine if um it takes you away had been split into a two-parter and it yeah. ends with the fam getting back to the original to our universe mm-hmm. but it ends with um the soul the soul attract saying uh my own form is endless but this is the form that but this frog is a form that delights me as it once delighted grace and it ends with the doctor saying there's me thinking the universe had no more surprises left. Cut to credits. The so next good. episode, the next episode is the Soul Attract and the Doctor exploring the Soul Attract's universe and the Doctor exploring her own universe and talking about her universe and her adventures. And it's the, it's kind of interwoven with the family, with the fam trying to get back to her and the doctor being so torn because she has created a friend in the soul attract in this living universe yeah who you know that the doctor is a a being who doesn't want anyone to be alone who doesn't want anyone to suffer no matter how the the doctor amazes me uh, peter capaldi his speech (laughs) his his speech. Uh, here's something you didn't see coming. I forgive you. Oh, I love oh, from the Zygote. Yes, I love. The, I mean, twelve is easily one of my favorites. Just his performance is spot on. But yeah, agreed 12 completely. Is, twelve is not one of my favorites. Is he a bad doctor? No, no. Let me make this brutally clear. Thank if you. A doctor. Was, yeah. If a, if a doctor. <laughs> if a doctor is not my favorite. It does not, there There are no bad doctors, there are just bad writers. Damn right. And, you know, that's why, you know, I know Six, Six and Big Finish, I've heard is phenomenal. Um, you know, we get, I didn't, I mean, I, I, I love and hate the movie, but um, <laughs> let me, let me make this. Let, it's let a strange clear. thing. It is. The there there are moments in the movie that I I literally I watched the movie for the first time. Half of me I'm watch I'm like we we I I England should never forgive us. 
England should go back to war. We butchered <laughs> Civil War Two. Let's do it. I, 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 I. We are, we are not worthy of your forgiveness. But the two caveats, and you know what? I'm going to give an honorable mention to um, who was the companion because she was good. Grace, um, Grace. Grace. Yeah, it, it, was was Grace. Awesome. it was Grace. Great. Grace was good. Grace was good. Mm. Um, Paul McGann who is one of the nicest people you will ever meet in your life. If you get the yeah. chance, absolutely meet him. He is a gem. And I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. <laughs> watch, watch Eric Roberts' performance throughout the entire movie. He is having the time so of good. his life. I always dress for the occasion. It's, it is, and, and I'm so you know, that's the master. The so master good. Is <laughs> and full of himself. But then, you know, we go on and we got arguably the best Doctor Who story of all time in The Chimes of Midnight. Oh, We got you. Charlie yes. Pillard. I did, yes. um, I actually did a podcast with the TikTok Whovians group oh. on, on Chimes of Midnight. And it, it is, it's, it's almost like, um, it's like an episode of the Twilight Zone almost. It's just it so is. strange. It it's it's almost akin to watching a um a Marvel show in that there is so much in it that you yeah. cannot you cannot get it all in one sitting. And it it's in order to prep myself for it, I try to listen to it once a day, every uh, once a day for the week leading up to the podcast. Oh, yeah. And by and by Thursday, I said, I can't do it because I, I can't listen to it again because it is so well done. Um, no spoilers, but for those of you who have not listened to Chimes of the Night, you really have to be aware that there is stuff, there there is self-harm, there is mentions of suicide um it it get it gets very 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 dark towards the end there's questions of self-worth there's belittling of a character now am i saying don't listen to it absolutely not listen to it but you got to be in the right mindset for this yeah. one because it'll mess with you it hits hard it does so the way one character is treated by some of the other characters it's horrible but at the end it has one of the most uplifting and beautiful moments that you're going to hear in a um in a big finish piece yeah i think that, that's sort of the magic of rob shearman though like everything he's written especially doctor who related yeah it has this it has an unmistakable balance between the darkest thing you've ever seen and also the funniest and nicest thing you've ever seen how he does it i have no idea <laughs> and that's that's where for me doctor who shines is when it can go very very dark but there are these wonderful moments of levity and even is that the right word i'm, I'm bad with vocabulary but even <laughs> even when things are um uh, love is a form of hope, and like hope, love abides mm. in the face of everything. Even when, um, you know, some of the some of the darkest Doctor Who episodes ever, Midnight. Mm. Um, oh, Just what's put Midnight know? in the title, I guess, is what we're learning. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> one of one of the. Um, oh, cause, no, God, yeah, because uh, <laughs> no, no, not Midnight. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, no, that was the one. It was midnight, right? The train one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was it. That was it. That one. Oh, geez, what's another? One? Um, the the uh, the uh, Pandorica two-parter. I love that. Ah, oh, series mm -hmm. five is just. Oh, it's phenomenal. It the you need to have that balance. If it goes too dark, it's not Doctor Who. If it stays too light and comical, you can do it for maybe like what, like I love The Lodger. I know a lot of people hate The Lodger. I love that episode. I love, I love light and happy things, but when it get it, when it just. It starts to turn into a children's show if it keeps the lightness 
going. It becomes a family show, like one for all, if it has that darker side too. Yeah, and that's what, like, I, uh, confession time, I've never watched, I, I want to, but I feel like I need to be in the right mindset. I've never watched an episode of Torchwood. Because I've heard, and I've, because I, I know about Children of Earth. Yeah. And so many people are like, don't, don't, don't put your <laughs> Wow, we are halfway in, and I got really off topic. So, questions? <laughs> Before we get to the questions, let me just make sure this is all being recorded, because it would be so awkward if after all this... <laughs> oh, yeah. I am getting... I, I do have the recording symbol in there. Excellent. Let me just... Oh. Okay. Recording in progress again. That's a good sign. Uh, all right. Yeah, the SD card back in. Uh, this is you're seeing behind the scenes stuff. Oh yeah, that's that's totally stuff that no one should ever have to see. <laughs> it's totally <laughs> fine. Oh, what a what a time. What a time. Get the focus right on your lovely face there. Aww. Yeah. I do, okay. I do hope you're able to find it. I do hope you are able to find that. Because that was good. My goodness. Like, that was good stuff. That was so much like nice, nice nattering. I love a natter. Yes. There we go. Now it just looks really like threatening. Like, just talk to me. Don't worry about this. Yeah, don't Fine. worry. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of hair around me. All right. Okay. So just in case that doesn't work and this doesn't work. Case. I've got and my back like, going. You have the technical difficulty sign going on. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, that's actually like lagging it a bit. Hold on. Okay. Hang on. I think I might, I think I, I may, I may have some, I may have like too much open. So I'm going to try to make this as easy for us as possible. Get rid of some of this stuff. Okay. Right. That should help. Right. I am ready when you are. Uh, I'm ready. Let's do this. Right. Just in case this is the start of the interview in the video. Hi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Once again, Jack can't help but get himself into deep technical difficulties. So I've got the strangest setup in the world. There has got to be a way to find that audio because I swear for anyone, that there was a there's a half an hour that we were talking that that Skype said it was recording. I'm sure if you put it up, someone someone will be able to tell you how to find it. Maybe That's Zoom right, will so, help. Yeah. Well, luckily we were pretty much just chatting away casually about um, yeah. Chimes of Midnight and your uh, Jedi costume made by yes. very professional people. I have to before we go any further. It's um, Twin Roses Designs. Ooh. Anyone who's looking to do a Jedi cosplay um, and get it, and get it done on uh, on a professional on Twin Rose Designs, nice. they're the ones to go to. Well, there you go. You heard that here. See, this is what I'm this is what I'm all about. I like the promotion of nice people and talented people. This is good. And. In case it did got, get missed, please yes. read this. <laughs> please, it's it's the it's the second one in the series. But for me, hu hidden human history is, is one of the best Doctor Who stories you're ever going to get for thirteen right now. Excellent, excellent. And before we get onto the questions, I do have to say I feel like this is a good comparison between homemade cosplay uh and <laughs> and someone who has put a lot more thought into it well all of this um this is all from uh what are it's it's um i got my jumpsuit from cost daddy uh her her cost prison daddy. suit this is all if i'm not mistaken the the shirt the the trousers and her coat are all from why do i keep a uh, cosplay company Oh, okay. And I have spent collectively at least, given the amount of uh, coats that I own of hers, I would say we're, we're, we're looking at four figures for all that I've done, including oh. including keeping my hair dyed, which, yes, oh, um, I actually, dyed. it's it's highlighted. It's highlighted. Oh. Um, and that, that takes a lot to keep up. But, there yeah, this is all, but I have, like, dedicated myself to um and i'm lucky because i do feel very comfortable 
in all of this. So it's not like, you know, dedicating yourself to a character that you don't connect with. Mm. See, I, w I went the foolish route of not being able to pick one. So I've basically got a little bit of everyone. And so I get ah. what you mean by costing. I mean, I'm not going to dye my hair. The right. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bad look. Oh, yeah. I've made a mistake here, but like wizard's cloak from Amazon and the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've gone the cheap route. <laughs> this is a look. What is this? It's actually a good look on you. Thank you. I'll take it. I've seen um, some people have done uh, gender swap as well as hmm. master doctor swap, where you see Jody in Sasha's attire Ooh, and that'd be a good look. Uh, Sasha in this. And he looks good in it. I'm not To be fair, right. Sasha Dewan would look good in everything. I mean, Sasha he's a Dewan, handsome lad. Ooh. Sasha Dewan is... <laughs> have you actually... I mean, have you seen him in... Um, uh, why am I blanking on it? Um, Iron Fist. He's no, really I, is he an Iron Fist? I didn't know. He's, he's an Iron Fist. Um, he only... They, were only, they only did two seasons of it before it got cancelled. Hmm. he's great and you ah. do see um it, it, it there is a little bit of that kind of dr master thing with him going on with um i can't remember the character's name but it's he's a really phenomenal i love the guy and it, it, um oh god i really i i do want to meet him someday at a convention uh um, oh, hopefully so. dressed like this <laughs> oh that'd be so good right so Let's do these questions before something else happens or the computer blows yes. up. I yes. see that's the direction. <laughs> right. So with the 13th Doctor videos that you make, all these, uh, all the TikToks, it's clear that you're from the energy, that it's something you really, really enjoy. So what is it about making the videos that you love so much? Um, it is, it's, it's making people laugh. It's making people smile. It's comforting people. It's finding myself in this character. One of the reasons that I love 13 so much is she she always has this kind of positive energy. Um, very much like 11 and 8, there is um, this excitement about life. Mm. Um, the only things that are boring are things that you can count on. Um, and there's always a chance that things will like, you never know what's going to happen in the day. Yeah. And I love, I love her excitement about, you know, attending a wedding, getting a package. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, having henna done everything. Oh, yeah. Everything that is, uh, a sofa. <laughs> there, is, there is a um, a positivity to her that I I gravitate toward and I love. And if I'm able to make someone smile, make someone laugh, connect with someone, give someone reassurance, um, help them through a hard time, it's. And, and doing it through the doctor and finding that character, it does feel very genuine to me. Because um, I never want to do a video just for the sake of, just for the sake of doing it, because that feels right. fake. I always have to have some sort of either reason for doing it or want for doing it yeah. or i get um i get inspired by other 13s 101 cosplay rose and um grace the 11th they just did a really good transition video mm. with as uh clara and 11 and i was like oh i want to try that with 13. <laughs> um so if i get inspired to do something if i am able to make people laugh or smile or just give them something to know that someone is out there. That's why I've done a lot of point of view videos. Um, no means no. Uh, the doctor protecting someone who won't, um, who you know, who won't back down. Being there for someone who's having an emotional breakdown, or um, it just just a reminder that you know if. If someone's day is being really bad, if I can make them smile, then it's totally worth it.
No, that's brilliant. That's see, that's the exact reason why I wanted to get the chance to interview you because it's clear from all those videos that you have such a passion for the character and a passion for doing what you're doing. And it's that reason I wanted to talk to you because it's brilliant. And that's that's the kind of people I like to see in the community. It's brilliant. Um, and even if it's like like any way that I can really just give this character her all like I will do when I've done audios of her um my boyfriend was able to get me all the uh, a lot of the audios from the episodes and I will do take after take after take if I feel that's not and and it's not so much it's not Jody enough because any every single person on the planet is going to bring their own representation to a doctor yeah. regardless if you're cosplaying 11 12 eight, five. Um, but if I can't capture her energy, then I'm like, I got to do another take of this. And sometimes I will put up a take where I feel even if it's not framed perfectly, I'm like, Oh, I got that moment down, right? That's got to go up because that yeah. is her. Oh, it's all about the energy. It's all about it. So um, on the same sort of lines, what was it the 13th doctor that got you into cosplaying? Or was that something you were doing before? No, um, I had been doing cosplay before. I really got into cosplay, I'm gonna say 2011. Um, I re that's when I really started to know that it was a thing. Mm -hmm. And one of the first cosplays that I did was Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Mm -hmm. And then that evolved into, you know, I've done Weishni from Ruby. I did Castiel from Supernatural, who I have to say is one of my best. Oh, yeah. I cosplay, I honestly, I cosplay guys better than I cosplay girls. Um, 13 <laughs> is the first, 13 is the first uh, female character, female identifying character who I have felt um, comfortable in because okay. I've also, I've done Weishni from Ruby. And if you look up any of her cosplays, um, I do her season four and there's a lot of skin up here that is not yeah. covered. And I, for me, I want to make this perfectly clear for me. I am not someone who can carry off something that's very revealing. I just don't feel comfortable. Well, it's not for everyone, I suppose, is it? No, it's not, it's not for anyone. And if you can, you're brilliant. You're fin genuinely like the way, the way you're show. If, if you are that comfortable in who you are, show it off, do it. It is just for me, I am not someone who really feels comfortable and, and is not sexy. Like that's not me. So finding a character who um, is just comfortable in who they are. And I've done the Winchester brothers. Um, oh, Crowley from Good Omens. That was a lot of fun. Uh -huh. um, but that and that was another one that I had to get the wig. Uh, I had a professional mm. hairstylist really design the wig because otherwise That's it was cool. just going to be it was going to be a nightmare. Oh, but nice. I've never done contacts. You actually in the U.S. or at least in uh, Illinois, without a prescription, you can't get designer contacts. Oh, really? So that was going to be that was going to be hard because uh, Crowley's contacts are such a big part of his character. Yeah. Crowley's eyes were such a big part of his character. So ninety percent of the time, when you saw me outside, I had the I had the glasses on because yeah. I didn't want to I didn't want to wreck the illusion. To be fair, my problem with contacts is I would probably be too wimpy to put them in. I'd be like, I'd just be terrified. <laughs> I mean, I could probably I could probably get them in, but um, everyone was saying, you know, don't don't go the route of you know, trying to get them at a convention or trying to, because, you know, you, you risk uh, more than damaging your eye, you risk infection and that, that yeah. can be awful. So I'm like, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not going to deal with that. Oh, fair enough. Um, I suppose we, oh, my next one was going to be, uh, where'd you get it from? But I suppose we've already answered that straight away. Yeah, we went to, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I skipped that one then done right um oh here's one here what are some of your favorite videos you've done so far um on tiktok oh and probably anything where i've done a pov or a role play with either the tardis family which is the family that 
um, myself, Crystal, uh, Leo the Lion, and um, Amy, Leif Bronin started. And we just, it, it exploded from one little role play. And really any time I can either genuinely make someone smile or where I'm, I feel like I'm at my acting peak, mm. particularly when there are people who can. No. No. No, that's the last thing we need, not lag. <laughs> Try on cue. Oh. You still there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. You went for a second. Oh no, she's gone again. <laughs> oh, oh, are we back? No. <laughs> Not again. Ah. Ah. We should stop doing all the um, interviews. <laughs> it never goes to plan. <laughs> oh, come back. Come back. Katie, no. Okay. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. There Jesus. we go. <laughs> so where where did we leave off? Um, you were saying something about one of them can cry on cue, I believe it was. Oh yeah, somebody can cry. Um, anyone where I'm really in the acting zone and really giving my all to the character, those are my favorites. Mm. Yeah, I wish I could do that. Well, I've I've done acting for a while. Well, acting, I do it on my own, but um yeah I, I envy people that can just turn that on like a fountain yeah if you can oh my god i want i want your i want that i want that ability on your tear ducts that, yeah <laughs> i wish i i wish i knew how to it. right i suppose the last question that i have before mm -hmm. again the computer destroys itself or yes like, and missiles rain down um <laughs> why is the 13th doctor crossed with a jedi so cool to look at I don't know. I <laughs> the idea that um, well, I think any doctor. I mean, oh my god! Imagine if like there is um, Dustin the Dustin Doctor or Doctor Dustin on TikTok. Mm. He I got the idea from him, and right. he did a tenth. I'm going to see if I can pull him up. Actually. Oh, um, you've piqued my uh, interest. Uh, he did. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Uh, the tenth doctor he does uh john sim master nice um where is max. okay here he is he was originally did the um come on i get uh he did the tenth doctor as a oh. jedi and that piqued my interest and i was like i have got Brilliant. to try this and um that was what got me into doing and originally and i had wanted to do a 10th doctor jedi for I, i'm sorry uh, a doctor 
crossover for a while. Mm. I'm I'm a crossover fiend. I love it. That's why I do a ton of Disney videos, yeah. Marvel, anything. Um, and when I realized that, oh, I can actually get this done professionally rather than just you know buy a, and there there to be to be a million percent fair, there are other thirteen. There is another thirteenth Doctor Jedi. I can't remember. Um, Maybe I can maybe I can pull her up. Um, uh, there there uh, there are other people who do Jedi crossovers, and I just I fell in love and was like I really I want to do this as professionally as I can, mm. and just I it it was it was so worth it, and I adore yeah. it, and. Um, I suppose oh, um, with Star Wars and Doctor Who specifically, they do cross over so well as they're both sort of spacey wacy things. So oh, it's absolutely, kind of natural. absolutely. Oh, I can't find her. No. Oh no. Um, but I mean, I just just the idea of doing something like that uh, was so much fun. Yeah. And oh, um. Abby, Abby of Trocken, who is a part of the TikTok Whovians. I do know Abby of Trocken. Oh, I didn't know she did one too. She oh. did a uh, a Jenny Flint um, yeah. having having that sort of crossover, and I fell in love with it. I'm like, I've Brilliant. got to, even though I'm not, I am a Star Wars fan. I'm not as big a Star Wars fan as some people. Yeah. And I was like, I still want to do this. And, you know, the great thing about 13 is I did not have to um, – now, uh, Twin Rose Designs, they'll do the full thing. Seriously, uh, Twin Rose Designs on Facebook or www.twinrose – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you the link right now. Yeah, I'm, um, I mean, I'm probably going to use it if I'm being honest. <laughs> like, um, okay, I know what I'm doing. She has done um, – so much in terms of oh no i accidentally clicked on her email um <laughs> but again they uh if you go to their website and it's not just um jedi it's it's literally any costume that you can think of under the sun mm. and i thought well i you know i'm willing to spend upwards of let's let's say 300 bucks um to do the whole um to do the whole jedi look right. the great thing was i did not because of 13's costume her coat is already semi you know jedi s yeah in 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 respect with the with the hood and then in terms of the pants all you have to do with these, you can actually just remove the suspenders, and that's it. I've got my, I've got <laughs> my attire. Um, but having that and do, and also, I'm a Disney, Disneyland and Disney World are homes away from home for me. So if I can go to Galaxy's Edge, uh, oh, dressed in that way, that's the dream. It would, and and the great thing is, is if if you were the distinction between the characters is so much in that anyone from Disney, Disney has, um, there are a couple of ways, slightly, slightly, do not take my word on this. Um, I would love to go to Disney as 13 and I probably could because it is not as, um, because she's not a Disney character. Yeah. But, if I did go, it would probably have to be. Um, oh yeah, do not take the coat, Jesus! That no, 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 no. <laughs> the coat—it's it, not even that. I'm willing to deal with the heat. Mm. Um, they are very, very picky about how you can and cannot enter the park in costume, mm. and that is—that's for the kids. God forbid, you know, something crazy happens or some little kid thinks I'm a Disney character. And I'm oh, not. I'm a, I'm a part guest. Yeah. And they they are very strict about that. So hypothetically, I could go, you know, without the coat, and no one would give me any trouble. Hmm. If I went with the coat, that 
you know, so I would love to do that. I would love to, it's also called Disney bounding. If you look it up, um, oh, people yeah. have designed their own costumes based around Disney characters. I would like to think that because the doctor is not a, a Disney character <clears throat> yet. So you get um, yeah. And maybe I, I always, I'm always saying like, there's, there's nothing that will not be taken over by the mouse. Yeah, um, one day we'll all be owned by the mouse. There, there is now for 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 people who are going in the UK pavilion in Epcot. The last time I was there, you can get Doctor Who merch. No, they do. Really? Se- this is yes. the God's honest truth. <laughs> you can buy some Doctor Who merch unless they lost the merchandising rights. You can buy Doctor Who merch in the uk pavilion the mouse man he managed it he found a loophole and he he got it there is some there is some loop there is no loophole that the mouse will find and i keep telling like how cool would it be if like one month the the, and there are different rights that i i'm 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 a disney world fanatic and a theme park lover and i am actually a part of the uh, themed entertainment association which you know looks at theme parks museums Mm. um any any kind of experience Imagine this. Imagine if you went to Epcot and they actually do, they have a red telephone box, but imagine if like one month they just did it where they have a blue police box sitting up toward the back and, and like it's, it's a character meet and greet. So the way it's set up is that it looks like it's blended into the trees, Mm. but you go in and it's the TARDIS. That would be And the doctor is there. (laughs) And what, what you could do is every day you can find a way to switch it out mm. so it wouldn't just be 13 you could have every single doctor there even the war doctor like okay. they used to do oh my god i need it now see so you've done it yeah i was always thinking like disney keep your hands off it but now i'm like well i mean if it's on the table if if they could if they could <laughs> i don't think I don't think, um, I guess, I don't know who's doing Fractured Time right now. I think that's still the BBC. Yeah. Um, I don't know who's got the theme park rights to Doctor Who. That's a but, question. But a theme, but a, I don't know, because I'm always of the Disney mindset, wherein, like, if you're going to do it, you better do it. You go 100%. Exact, you go 100%. If you're going to show me Gallifrey, then I better know exactly what to think of Gall- I better be walking down. You better galaxy edge that. Oh, that's the you truth. You better get, ga- if yes. I'm walking down the street, I better see those cobblestones look exactly the way they would in Gallifrey. I better see those trash receptacles. Do not take me out of this illusion. Gallifrey like, and I want- trash receptacles. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. I want to see. I want to see cast members in full regalia. Yes, the colors. I want to see the full things. I want to see, and although God Almighty, do oh no 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 no, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it, and then the one person, and then somebody's gonna do it. I want to see if if you can insulate them, if you can insulate them, and I think you can do this for the Daleks because I know that there are people who have Dalek suits, but. If I want to see Cybermen, <laughs> yes, yes, I want to see that. <laughs> I, I, I want, I want to see like you know, but the, you know, it's it's very much like the stormtroopers in um in in Galaxy's Edge where they can't actually communicate with you. Yeah, you can get, um, you can and, get the voice changes totally. Do it. Yeah, no, no, Do get it. a voice changer. Have Daleks come through. Really, I want to have this full time fracture-esque experience. Yeah. I want to see the doctors in person. I want to see 13. Oh, I want to see 10. I want to see 11. I want to see Ruth and the war doctor. I want to see the map. Give me a <laughs> walk around Mickey. Give me a walk around Missy. Oh, like God, seriously, just have, I, I, would just, I would just be like walking around with Missy, you know, Missy the whole time. Like, <laughs> give me, give me that experience. I will yeah. pay you whatever you want. But again, if you're gonna do it and you're gonna, don't just give me like a ride and then yeah. a gift shop. You better give me the whole of it. Very much like very much like star wars very much like uh what universal did with the wizarding world of harry potter yes 
if you're gonna do if you're gonna make Hogsmeade exactly the way it is in the books or in the in the film, you know, again, if I'm looking down at those streets and it's just like, you know, flat stuff, I'm like, I'm not on Gallifrey. Oh, there, yeah, there I go. I'm on Gallifrey. <laughs> I'm on Gallifrey right now. I'm right, I'm starting the Kickstarter. I'm starting it. This, I'm starting we're gonna get this going. You Start the petition. Know, I, I I I you know, if there is Someone, I, I, I want there to be some Disney executive who just randomly stumbles across this and goes, "Ah, oh, we're never going to recognize that girl, but we are totally going to go to the BBC and get and get the and get the rights." Oh, now. Bob Iger, if you are listening, do wait, it. Wait, 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 I have to double check. Who's the head right now? Disney head. Is it still Bob Iger? Is it Bob I think Iger? so. Oh no, it's, it's the CEO is Bob uh, Chopic. Oh, Chopic. Still a Bob. Still okay. Bob, still Bob. Get rid of Bob. I guess, so. I guess he's still. Uh, uh, if somebody is this, I'm like, I'm telling you, you so can good. do you. You know, again, you you respect the material, you respect the fans, you don't just think, you know, uh, the I, you know, Avengers, Marvel. Yeah. You gave us Avengers Campus. It's. I, again, it's one of the reasons people love fantasy and sci-fi and even horror so much is that the real world can be awful, mm. but for a little bit of time, we can, you know, we can have characters who make the world the way we want to be, we want to be made. We can see that, you know, um, Oh gosh, where is it? Where's the final shot in the, you know, the, the, um, the last star whale can be rescued oh. and there are, and there are such things as star whales and, um, you know, oh gosh, what else did I pull? You know, we can, you know, there's even the, the slightest hint that Santa Claus is real, which I do believe. I do. I, I oh, don't. That is I, so I, Doctor Who, though. If they revealed that Santa was a Time Lord, I'd be like, "Yep, checks out." Well, actually, the great thing about this, the great thing about this is, um, in this, it, this is another. This is a great holiday one. It, which, if you've never read, um, there's, there's no clear acceptance or denial of santa's existence right so it's oh, jury's it, out. <laughs> ju jury's still out but um it's um and there actually is you know oh you know oh uh you you know there's no way you can bring in disney and doctor who oh so in this you see that they're at a theme park Oh yeah, yeah. I actually I have to go in a minute, but uh Ryan says, could you get us into Disney with that thing? Of course I could, Ryan. It's where I met Bradbury. <laughs> and Ray Bradbury worked for Disney. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he did I think he did uh Oh, I recognize the name. Ray Bradbury. Hmm. Um, he did. He had contributions to Epcot. He oh. designed. He helped design Spaceship Earth. He wrote. He he wrote Fahrenheit uh, 451, and um, he helped. Uh, he helped create an early vision of Mission Space. All right. And um, he helped also create the the movie uh, Something Wicked This Way Comes. Additionally, he um, oh he was he wrote an essay on the audio animatronics in um, in uh, uh, what was it Great Great Moments with Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln? Yeah. So oh, don't tell legend. me you can't come. Don't tell me you can't. That's not Disney. That is not an excuse for you to do whatever you want. <laughs> you protect this. You pretend any form the doctor is in, no matter what. And I don't care if it is like, I, I don't care what form the doctor is in, even as 12. I, and I, I, made, I should make it a million percent clear 12 is not my favorite, but I adore 12. I adore yes. 12. 
There now you'll you'll see why I said it in a second. Every single version of the doctor is a cinnamon roll. Now 12 is a dangerous extra spicy cinnamon roll, but I will protect <laughs> Disney. That is not an excuse for you to do whatever you want with this character. This character is a soul-saving cinnamon roll, and you will feel my wrath if you do come in any way. You heard it here, Bob. Watch out. You be careful. <laughs> oh well, thank you so much for chatting again. I'm You're sorry so for welcome. everything that happened. I, I got to I got to go off about you know Disney and Doctor Who yeah. and again read these comics. By the comics. See, I think you actually work for the for the company that makes those I because you. I don't. Killing. I don't. Affiliation. No. <laughs> let me disclaimer. I have no affiliation with Titan Comics, and I have no affiliation with Disney at all. I am not on their payroll. I just. These are the stories that, um, have, the show, made me love thirteen. The comics brought me closer to her. Brilliant. Well, again, thank you so much for coming on. I will, You're I will so free welcome. you from this hellhole of a call that's ended up. I will, I will let you go about your days. Thank you again. Excellent. Thank you. Bye. Farewell.